guys welcome back to another video in today's video I will be doing a stem cut of one of my Vanda Terret orchids and I'll also show you how I place that cutting into another Vanda bed so if you want to see me do that just keep it locked to this video and let's jump right into it welcome back guys I have decided to move do a stem cut rather of this Vanda Terret because it is very close to this one right here. And as you can see, there are three growths here. There is the original plant. I can't even tell right now which is the original plant, but there are three of them right here. And I'm going to be doing the stem cut of this one, which is closer to this tall Vanda that you see right here. So I'm going to be cutting down here. And it has some roots that are going into the gravel but it doesn't hurt if they break so I'll just be gentle to get out the roots and do remember guys when you do a cutting of a vanda whether it is a stem cut or a top cut please remember to ensure that the cutting has at least three strong, healthy roots. And I will show you the roots of this stem cut in a minute. All right, here it is. Look at all the roots. I would even bother to count these roots, but please remember it has to have at least three strong healthy roots when you're doing your stem cut or your top cut if i were doing a top cut i would cut the vanda in this section so this would be a top cut but i've taken the cutting from the root or the base of the vanda so it's a stem cut that i did just now so guys as always i use cinnamon powder for my stem cut because this is going to prevent stem rot so I have dipped it in the cinnamon powder as you see here and I'm going to place it in this vanda bed let me carefully place the roots in the bed And I'll be tying it with fine binding wire onto this stake right here. And this is the wire that I'll be using, this fine binding wire. And I'm tying it firmly to the stake because you don't want to have the stem cutting shaking too much because that can damage the roots. So you tie it firmly to the stake. Let me do another one base here. So here it is tied to the stake and I am going to be putting some gravel into the bed and the gravel has been washed and guys this nozzle that I used to wash the gravel is actually one of the gifts from my 
one or one of my Christmas gifts from the unboxing. I'm so happy to be using this because it's so convenient and it has the different sections on the nozzle that I can choose the one that I need to use. All right. And if you have not yet seen my unboxing video, I'm going to be linking it somewhere above here so you can go ahead and click on that link right now. I'm putting some gravel onto the uh, river stone onto some of the roots of the vanda cutting and also around the other vanda plants that are in the bed. You know you don't want the other vandas to feel left out as if you're treating the new one special so i'm just spreading the love all over in the bed and i think this is enough for now and you know guys Sometimes when it, the sun gets really hot, I use, I love to use charcoal on top of the gravel so that it will alleviate some of the heat from the sunlight on the roots of the vandas. So this is pieces of charcoal that I'm now placing in the bed on top of the gravel. this completes my activity for this evening or for today but before I end this video I'm going to actually water the vanda cutting pressure is not too strong but nonetheless I'm giving it some water and I'm going to be watering this vanda or this bed daily for another two weeks to ensure that the roots remain green and healthy until it starts to put out some new roots i hope you enjoyed my video please leave me a comment in the comment section below and please follow me on instagram and facebook at precious blooms ja Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you soon.